Hi y'all, Jeff here from the Idiot Car Guys. So, on the last video uh, with the little Mercedes 190E that was doing a little troubleshooting, I uh, uh, brought it to the attention uh, that I was going to do a second video on the Cadillac Elante. Well, underneath this cover is the Cadillac Elante. Um, and before I take the cover off and start the car and, and so forth, I kind of wanted to go over a couple things and, and do a shout out on uh, uh, a couple things as well. So I got the repair bill uh, after I took it to uh, a friend of mine or somebody I know uh, in Fremont, Nebraska, uh, a gentleman that owns the uh, uh, business uh, named Jim at Freeway Car Care Center. I took the car to him and I asked him, well, first of all, when I made my appointment, I asked him, I said, would he work on it? And he said, sure. He said, uh, uh, when I, when he started getting in the car business or the car repair business, 1987 was about the years that he started. So he was kind of familiar with GM products back in that time. And so he didn't have a problem taking on the project of uh, uh, giving it a tune-up. Uh, after my local shop here in uh uh, in, in, in town decided he didn't want to and I thought okay and so I took it down uh, uh, you know to Fremont and uh, the uh, uh, you know when I got it in there I, I took him the parts and and by the way he's a little more uh, uh, apt to if you bring him the parts um, he will put them on as long as they are the correct parts so I uh, uh, I ordered uh, what I what I could. Well, actually, I ordered uh, the plugs, the wires, the cap, and the rotor, uh, and I ordered them from a national change uh, 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 chain. Uh, you know the know-how guys, and uh, I take them in there, and uh, uh, he goes to put the plug wires on or takes the plug wires out of the box. They didn't have the boots on, so. He had to order plug wires, which took an extra couple of days, but he kept the car in the garage when uh, over the weekend and, and so forth. And so I took it in there. The, the purpose of taking the car in there was to, um, you know, get the plugs, wires, uh, cap and rotor change and, and um, uh, to, uh, I'll get the air conditioner fixed because uh, on the digital dash it says, the, or on the information center, it says low coolant. Well, it's an older car, it didn't get driven much, so um, understandably so, the, the coolant level is probably low. So, take it down there, and as I'm driving down there that day, and of course it was very difficult to start that morning because, well, we'll go fast forward the plugs were just shot but anyway um i on my way down light started coming on low voltage and the information center started quit working and i thought oh my goodness am i gonna make it because it's a 40 mile drive and it made it uh and i get there uh, had another surprise and this goes back to buyer beware where um when you buy a car, not all, don't always believe the person that you're buying the car from. Uh, when I bought the car, he said, the gentleman I bought it from had his mechanic neighbor take a look at it. And uh, it was having some battery issues. They replaced the battery. They replaced the alternator. Uh, but when I get there, uh, Jim says, yeah, your alternator's bad. So I said, well, go ahead. We got to have that. I said, I guess, uh, you know, here, my budget was a thousand dollars for the repairs. And I said, well, let's get to where we can get what we can. I said, the alternator is more important than air conditioning. So bottom line is, and I'll quit rambling. Um, uh, I get to the end of the end of, uh, the repairs. And so I get my bill at the end of the day and, uh, you know, Jim. Well, and Jim called me along the way, so he he's really good about that. Um, and so I get get the bill, and uh, the plug wires he had to reorder because the ones that he had gotten didn't have boots. You know, the ones that I took him didn't have boots on it. So we had to 
he had to order some new ones at the cost of $108.53. Now, I don't know about some of you, but I've been, you know, I've been around a long time and plug wires last I knew, you know, were in the 40s and 50s, but the ones I ordered from the know-how guys, they were in the $80 range. So, you know, this is the this is the times that we live in where uh, you know, uh, the, the the cost of goods and things like that I mean it's inflation um, an alternator and he put uh, uh, it was a remanufactured alternator for $233.98 and I'm going oh my word I mean I remember buying alternators for 50 60 80 dollars uh, but again this is a Cadillac Elante probably a little bit different so with all of that said and done uh, oh, and then there was one other thing he noticed that was more of a safety issue. Um, it had an exhaust leak. Now, if you remember in my first video, you know, the car started, had a nice little rumble to it, but uh, didn't realize it had uh, an exhaust leak at uh, one of the welds. And so he actually welded that back together and didn't disturb any of the rest of the exhaust. So my bill come came and uh, it was $927.62, which, uh, you know, I, I guess in today's times that's about what it's going to cost to you know repair a car when you have just those items and so and that's not including i already bought the you know the original plug wires plugs uh cap and rotor and incidentally he showed me the plugs that he took out of there and i rest assured I would say that they were probably the original spark plugs to the car because Back in the day, if I remember correctly, uh, AC Delco plugs had three green bands around the porcelain on it. Uh, I don't think they put that on there. And so from back in the 80s and 90s, the plugs may have been changed, you know, at 40,000 miles. Because remember, this thing's got 107,000 miles on it. So they were either original or they hadn't been changed in a very long time. So the car runs much much better now i'm going to go ahead and take the cover off i'm going to start the car so that you can hear it run inside the this carport then i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to back it out and we're going to open the hood and take a look at um you know the 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 quality of work that uh um you know jim and his guys did for me uh there's a few little extra details that they did that uh, i was really impressed with so i'm going to get out the uh the, the cadillac gold key uh, and here's the gold keys that came with the car and then of course i i don't know if the the original owner got it but I, and i don't know if you can see it in the video but it's a little cadillac key ring so meanwhile i'm going to go ahead and take the cover off here and i've actually got it double covered i bought another cover just to for an extra protection because this cover is getting wore out uh this cover came with the car and i'm guessing this came originally from the dealership uh back in the day uh uh to cover the car up because my buddy mike said he has one as well now it's got some tears and things on it so i'm going to go ahead and take the covers off and uh, and we'll get in and start the car this car hasn't been started for a, a period of time, so we'll see how she does this morning, um, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, give me a moment here while I'm uh, folding these covers back, because uh, that way I can put them back on. Uh, when, I, when I'm done... There she is in all her glory. 1987 Cadillac Elante. Now, there's been some controversy. My wife and I, you know, she likes the car, but, uh, and the purpose originally was when we bought this was, you know, it's a car for her to, uh, to drive kind of just uptown. Uh, but she's told me now, you know, she says, I really don't like the, uh, don't like the car as much as I thought I would. 
She said it's a little more difficult to get in and out of than she thought it would. Well, yeah, it's a sports car. You know, um, when you get in and out of this car, it's almost like getting in and out of a Corvette. So, you know, um, the, the jury's out, and we'll go over that here in a little bit, whether I'm going to keep it or sell it. More than likely, I'm probably going to sell the car. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up so that uh, uh, you can hear it run, and then we'll pause the video, and then we'll back it out. she is started right up you know fresh tune up um, headlights kicked on because it is a little you know a little uh, overcast out so it's a little darker in here um, you know notice we talked in the original video uh, the the lights and the brake lights the, the tail lights and the brake lights looky there the uh, Cadillac Elante uh, very visible on the tail lights so I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to back the car out, and we're going to switch the camera angle and uh, uh, talk a little bit more about the, uh, the engine. Welcome back. So uh, I'm behind the camera right now. So I'm just doing a real quick overview here of the, uh, uh, the engine compartment and uh, you know, overall, this uh, engine is very clean. Uh, looks like my uh, struts are a little bit, not gonna, they're a little weak. Uh, so the hood is not staying, staying up. Um, so, but I wanted to point out, there's the new alternator. And you can see the new plug wires. Now, as I'm panning over this, um, it, uh, uh, I, I like what he's done. They've actually took him, taken some uh, uh, wire ties and actually really uh, did a little bit of attention to detail on, um, you know, zip tying those uh, uh, plug wires together so it keeps them clean and out of the way. So um, I'm really very impressed with the, uh, with the work that they've done. So, but I'm gonna pull out of, pan back here on the car, and uh, you know, the doggone car is uh, uh, in really good shape. I, I really do, uh, I, I really do like the car, and I like the look of the car. Um, you know, it's kind of up to uh, uh, my wife and I, um, you know what we're really going to do but she's kind of controls <laughs> well I, I can't say that she kind of controls things but uh, uh, she really kind of uh, uh, sets the stage for you know what we really kind of should do with it uh, you know happy wife happy life um, so I'm gonna pause the video here for just a second and I'm gonna shut the car off Okay, so now that the car is shut off, I'll talk a little bit more. So, um, a couple of things that, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, yes, I would like to keep the car. My friend, um, you know, Mike has one, and I've always, you know, jokingly said that, uh, you know, whenever he'd pass, that I would hope that he'd have it in his will for me. You know, I've, no, I've owned one now, and so, uh, you know, I'm a Mercedes guy, and I really like the Mercedes-Benz automobile. This one here has a lot of things that I do like about it, and I have owned a couple of Cadillacs in my life. Uh, my favorite Cadillac was my 85 uh, uh, Brome that I owned, and I drove it up until my Ram pickup. That was the, the vehicle I drove the most amount of miles and kept the longest uh, ever, so... Um, you know, do I want to keep this car? Yeah, I'd like to keep every classic car that comes my way, but you might find this uh, on uh, uh, Bring a Trailer, uh, Cars and Bids, 
um, you know, who knows? You might see this out there. Might just see it on uh, listed as a as a classified ad on Car Gurus. More to come on that. We'll probably put it in the comments. But now, here's the other thing. If you'd like to make a cash offer, just put it down in the comments box with your email address. And uh, we'll certainly get back to you and see what your actual offer is. But I guarantee you, it's going to be greater than $5,000. So, uh, you know, don't be... I don't want any lowball offers. I'm tired of lowball offers. This is probably not going to go on a marketplace kind of thing. Because this is a collector car. Uh, I was going to take it to CarMax and see what they would do for you know give for me, but I already have gotten a deterrent on that. So you know they couldn't do do much because they don't know what to do with the car. They don't know where to go with it. Apparently they don't have the resources to go there. So this is going to be a private sale only. It's got to be to somebody who appreciates these cars. This is a survivor. This one is production number fourteen hundred and 57 uh, this is a 1987 model uh, uh, Cadillac Elante and 1457 production is about midstream of uh, the production year so um, you know this one does have some value to it it is a non North Star remember I stated in the the very last year of production of this car uh, was uh, uh, was the uh, uh, the North Star which uh, this is the better engine now this is the uh, four point uh, what was it four point four point two uh, liter or four point one liter uh, then you had the four point five and then you had the North Star um, yes it's not a big fancy horsepower car but it was Cadillac's you know attempted to get into the sports car world Anyway, folks, we appreciate you watching. Please continue to support us. Share this with your friends if uh, you know you have somebody that might be interested in in in, a, in this car. Uh, I'm going to get it all cleaned up a little bit more uh, so it is, has a little bit more presentation and maybe just do a sale video on it. So, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Jeff. I'm with the Idiot Car Guys.